Next on this episode of FYI Guy Live, make a dry erase picture frame you'll love to display. Find out how easy it is to turn ordinary into extraordinary with beautiful frosted hurricanes. And watch Jeremy turn an amazing mix of materials into garden-ready outdoor decor. All this and much more coming up next on FYI Guy Live. Welcome to FYI Guy Live. I am your FYI Guy, Jeremy Ray. I have some fantastic projects in the works for you today. So easy and inexpensive, and it's really fast, easy, and fun. Get the whole family involved. In fact, let me ask you a question. How many of you have trouble staying organized? <laughs> yeah. Don't we all? How many times do you say to yourself, oh, I need to write that down so I don't forget? Yeah. I, I know I say it daily. I do. So I have a fun FYI guy, FYI guy on the fly that's going to help you stay organized. Let's get started. <laughs> this project is so easy and so inexpensive because what you're going to need to start off with is a frame that I got for a dollar. Okay, you can't be. I spray painted it blue because I thought that was just a fun, vibrant color. So I spray painted this frame bright blue, and I'm going to set it aside. Now, do you have paper at home? You know, and you just kind of legal paper. No, you're like, no, I have zero paper in my house. <laughs> Go get some. <laughs> well, I have this yellow pad, and I said, what a great retro vintage kind of feel, you know, having to write down the notes, you know. It, I, it reminds me of those 40s newspapers where you have them, and you're taking down notes in shorthand. I just, I loved it. So I'm going to frame this, because this, what we're making is a dry erase reminder. So I, I need to write down what I need to remember. And I always say this to myself, note to self. <laughs> because I'm constantly saying that, note to self, remember to do that. So I've got this right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up in the frame. Now, I found out that to get this top portion, I have to actually bend the paper down a little bit. So I'm just going to tape it into place right here, note to self. That's just going to keep it secure. Now I'm going to frame it just like this, back in the frame. And I love this because you could stand it up or you could have it sitting down. You could put it in your kid's room and you could leave them a note every morning saying, hello, I love you. <laughs> or for your husband or wife or your spouse. I mean, it's just a great way. Or your grocery list. Or if you're mad at somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You do what you want. But again, you know, I saw this and I was done. I was like, well, that's cute. We have a dry, you can write. I said, no, I need more. I need to really dress it up. So guess what I did? I got some really fun pencils for 75 cents for like seven of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue these pencils right around the edge as a little border, just to make it fun. Look how fun that is. And again, be as creative as you want. You can use pencils, crayons, magic markers. Just have fun with it. Look how fun this is right here. Just take your glue stick. Glue it in place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Oh my goodness, take another little pencil. Happy little pencil. Do you get that reference? I was testing you. I'm gonna keep going. I wanna finish this because I love it so much. Another, the happy little pencil. 
right here. Perfect. Again, take your time. Accentuate, design, decorate at your own pace so you don't burn yourself. <laughs> and then I wanted a way to keep the dry erase marker there, so I got peel and stick Velcro. I mean, you can't go wrong with peel and stick Velcro. So I'm going to put one on this side. And then to make sure you get it in the right place, I put it on this one first and then pop it right there. You've got a really cute. I love it. I love you. I do. Thank you so much. Inexpensive and it's a not only is this a great gift, it's a great hint for those people in your life who are not organized. <laughs> you can give them this. Thank you so much. That's today's FYI Guy on the Fly. When we come back, we have a fantastic project using glass hurricanes and rubber bands. Are you intrigued? Hey, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You don't want to miss it. Come back. <laughs> If you like everything arts, crafts, home decor, and so much more, then you're going to love Jeremy Rabe's FYI Guy Craft Crush Instructional DVD. Now you can watch the king of crafts create the most amazing artistic creations step by step from start to finish as Jeremy turns his penny-pinching creativity into incredible works of art while he turns trash into artistic treasure. Just one crafting session with Jeremy costs over $50, but with Craft Crush you get 12 complete instructional sessions for just $29.99. But hold on to your glue gun, because if you order right now, you get an instant $10 discount. That's right, you get the Craft Crush Volume 1 directly from FYI Guy Jeremy Rabe at the low introductory price of only $19.99. On Craft Crush Volume 1, you get 12 personal demonstrations on how to make the vintage suitcase pet bed, the teacup bird feeder, the shabby chic wood plaque, magic melt crayon art, glitter glam candle, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? That's over $500 of one-on-one -on -one instruction with Jeremy for just $19.99. Go to FYIGuy.com right now and get Craft Crush Volume 1 before they're gone. Craft Crush will provide you and your family hours of fun and it makes a great gift. It's the FYI Guy Craft Crush Volume 1. Avoid the rush. Get Craft Crush. Don't delay. Order yours today. something I was trying my dramatic entrance did it work it was, it was very dramatic I was I was trying I'm not a dramatic person though I promise <laughs> we have a fun project but I'm gonna need help from our studio audience so where is Mary Ellen Conrad Mary Ellen <laughs> hello come on over oh Mary Ellen, what perfume are you wearing? Because you smell so good. It's called, well, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, well, <laughs> obviously. OK, Mom, I hope you're not watching, because you're getting that for Christmas. That smells so good. Thank Mary you. Ellen, thank you so much. OK, let me ask you, uh, do you love candles? I do. Yeah, do you yes. light them often? Every night. Th really? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. This project is perfect for you, then. Because I also love candles, and I love finding fun and creative ways to display the candles. Mm -hmm. And I like cheap candles. So this is a great way to really make a special thing for your house or for a gift. Because I, I love giving stuff away and I love giving to other people and especially something that I made. So I got this dollar hurricane. Mm -hmm. This is one dollar. So take yours. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jazz this up using rubber bands. So okay. take a rubber band right. and put it on the hurricane. And you, you kind of want to make sure that it's not twisted, mm -hmm. you know, but it doesn't have to. I mean, just do whatever you want, kind of like that. The smaller ones are a little bit harder to untwist. And sometimes, if I don't want to go over the ribbon, I'll turn it over mm -hmm. and do this side. And you're just going to make a fun, wiggly, waggly, ziggly oh. pattern. You do not have to have it perfect. OK, great. See, see how fun that is? It's oh, kind of that's wonky, good. if you will. Is that a word? Yes. Wonky? I believe it is. Oh, good. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I've been accused of making up words because I sometimes can't find the right word. So I'll just say something. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Well, you can How's do it that. going? I, pretty good. Pretty good? I think. Look how fun that is. Yeah, you're going to keep going, basically. Yeah, put a couple more on. Mm -hmm. You're going to put as many rubber bands as you want because the next step is super fun. 
I got some frosting spray. <laughs> have you used frosting spray? Yes. You have? I have on Windows, yes. On, oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, she's <laughs> used it on Windows. Maybe she doesn't want anybody looking in her house. <laughs> That's a great one. I've never yeah. understood the big bay windows in the bathrooms. I've never understood no, that. That's not right. That's a private place. <laughs> okay. okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna spray very much of this because of the fumes, but I'll just give you a little oh. example. You just basically spray, spray the entire jar. Again, mm -hmm. I do not want anybody smelling those fumes because when you finish, it's gonna look like this. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? That, that is beautiful. That I is like really pretty. That. Yeah. Ah! It's beautiful. Now, Mary Ellen. Yes. You know me. I'm not, I'm not happy with just this. No, you need more. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Finally, somebody, more is more. Yes. Yeah. And we need to jazz it up, if you yes. will. So, you know what? A friend of mine named Deborah gave me all of these brooches and uh, pins. Mm -hmm. And I have already pre picked one that I love. Do you, do you love that one? Yes, I love Alice. Is that the one you would yes, pick? That's Honestly, the one I tell me picked. the truth. You yes. would? Yes. Okay. I love it so much. I do. And it is my favorite That's color, mine. teal. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to use this owl, but what we're going to do first is we're going to just use a little bit of hot glue and we're going to put this sparkly ribbon right around the center. In fact, if I put this hot glue right yes. here, would you just connect it? I will. Don't burn yourself. I won't. I never burn Oh, she's myself. got long nails that she can use. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Do I need a dab another, over there? Another dab. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, use your nail, not your finger. Yeah, I never burn myself. You, that's never. So, that's why women have nails. There we go. See? Yeah. Oh, just... Perfect. <laughs> okay. And then I said, Jeremy, guess what? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. So we're going to add this okay. pretty yellow ribbon. Let's put that right in the center of this. Can you help me with that? Yes, sure. perfect. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put a dab of glue right there and right there. Oh. Put that right in the center oh. over, over oh, the blue. Over. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Oh, goodness gracious, don't burn yourself. I'm I so didn't. Sorry. Okay, I said, good. These nails come in handy. Man, it looks painful from my point of view. It's not. Okay, good. See, I tell you not to burn yourself, then I burn myself. No, I didn't. I'm good. I'm okay, good. good. Now we've got this, but we're going to add yeah. our beautiful owl, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put some hot glue. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like using the hot glue because guess what? You really can pry it off mm -hmm. if you get sick of it. It's not really permanent, permanent. Put, look oh. how adorable that is. Oh. Come on. I love it. I love that it. is adorable. That is. That is. Perfect. We've got our candle. Set it right down in there. We're going to set it on a plate. And of course, we need to light it. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you, there's so many options. And in fact, I tried something to see if it would work. And I wanted to make a color, like a spray paint, but I, I knew it would scratch off. But let me tell you what I found. This is what I did. I painted, I painted this with gold metallic spray paint, and then I put a crystal clear, clear sealer over it, and you cannot scratch that off. I tried. <laughs> I was trying to scratch it. It is definitely set on there, so you could do multicolors of spray paint and then seal it with the sealer. And look how fun. I wrapped twine around lace and then put that beautiful brooch right in the center. And then, of course, I took this candle and put a bright pop of color right there with lace and the twine. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It does. Do you, do you think this is something you could do at home? Yes. And will you do it? I will do it. And will you send me pictures I will take it? a picture and send it to you. Well, how about yes. you take this one home <gasps> just so you can practice? How about oh, that? Oh, thank you so how much. How about that, Mary Ellen? Thank you. Do you love, love it? it? Thank, thank you. you. You are so sweet. <laughs> I don't want any place catching on fire. No. Hey, don't go anywhere. We have your viewer fan mail coming up right after this, so come on back. Do you like that? I love the color. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeremy Rave, your FYI guy. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there watching today's episode going, wow, that audience looks like they're having so much fun and they're so happy and, well, guess what? They are. They're extremely happy and having a great time. If you'd love to be a part of the studio audience of FYI Guy Live, just head on over to FYIGuy.com and send us an email. Let us know if you'd like to come because spaces are limited and it's first come, first serve. And the best part is, though, you could be picked to do a project with me live on the show. Could you imagine? I mean, that would be so much fun. So head on over to FYIGuy.com right now. Hit us up and we'll see you live in the audience of FYI Guy Live. Sorry, I had to do that because I was joking with the studio audience about doing a heel click and I had to do it. So I did it. So I'm. I felt sometimes you feel like doing a little 
He'll click. Sometimes you do. Uh, we're at the mailbox because it's time for your viewer mail. I'm so excited to see what questions we have today. We have the first question from Kelby in Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh, I thought it was going to be Springfield, Missouri, but it's not. Okay, there we go. Um, I'd like to make something for my husband for our five-year wedding anniversary, but I don't want it to be too girly. Hmm. I understand that. He's your husband. Uh, got any manly ideas? Well, I don't know if you knew this, but the five-year anniversary, the traditional gift is wood. That is the gift. So I had an idea. What if you make him a wood bow tie? Oh. Because that's cute. It's manly. It's wood. You can stain it. Or if you're not comfortable making it, how about you buy him power tools, and you can make it together, and you can cut the wood. How about that? Oh. I think it's cute. Oh. Just thought of something, and then in return, he can give you a cute little wood box with jewelry in it. Yeah. Full circle. We're making a full circle moment. Full circle moment right there. Okay, this one is from Jay in New Orleans, Louisiana. I love that place. You're always so positive and upbeat. Does anything ever make you cranky? Jay, you don't even know me. Uh, yes, I will be honest with you. 99% of the time, I'm so happy because I love my life. I love my friends. I love my family. When I'm hungry, you don't want to be around me. When I'm tired, you don't want to be around me. And when I have just spent six hours on a project that doesn't work out, you don't want to be around me. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. About a week ago, I was really ill, and I was trying to create something, and I got finished with it, and I looked at it. And I threw it across the room. I was like, why did I make that? I could not. I was just so mad at myself, and I wasn't feeling well. So yeah, when craft projects, because when you see me on the show, there's probably three other versions of that that you don't see. <laughs> that didn't quite work out. But thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate that question. If you have viewer mail, go to FYIGuy.com. Find me, message me, send me your questions. It could be featured right here on FYI Guy Live. All right, when we come back, we have a fantastic outdoor decor project you do not want to miss. So come on back. Hey everyone, you know, I really want to invite you to go like the FYI Guy Facebook page because I'm always updating things every single day and I'm sharing your photos. If you have a great project idea or maybe something you've made, send it to me on the Facebook page and I'll send it out to the world. We'll share it with everybody, we'll like it, we'll comment. It's a great way to keep interactive with your FYI guy, me. So log on right now, facebook.com slash the FYI guy. <laughs> Welcome back, hello. Well, I've got my jar of fun because I need a helper for this outdoor decor project. Let me find where is Sharon Holmes, Sharon, get on up here. Hi, Sharon. Hello. How are you? Good. So good to meet you. Come Thank on you. over here. Oh, you smell good too, man. Thank everybody you. smells so good. Well, let me ask you this: Do you love summertime and being outside, Sharon? Love it. Have a big deck. Love my summer deck. Oh, do you? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, good. I I love drinking iced tea on the deck. Do you like going outside and drinking iced tea? Well, yeah. No, you don't drink iced tea. Well, yeah, we we drink iced tea, but oh. <laughs> Okay then, <laughs> I, I like you already. Okay, <laughs> well we're gonna make a fantastic fun outdoor item that I, I, it has a special twist at the end which I won't tell you yet, but I'm excited because we're taking old things that you find in the house and we're gonna make a cute piece of art. L let me just get into it because I don't wanna give too much away because I want you to be surprised. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take some old fan blades. Now if you have an old ceiling fan that you've taken down, you can actually get this at a thrift store very inexpensively or Habitat for Humanity. I probably have more than one. You do? Mm. <laughs> we'll get, take them on down I'm, and use I'm them. I'm a hoarder. You are me too. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, so we're going to, are you making faces at me? No. <laughs> I feel like you are. <laughs> now look what I've done, I do want to show you this. I have actually tapered the ends of the fan blades with my table saw and I left the little hole for the center right intact because we're gonna use that later, okay? So I've taken it and I've painted it white. Now after you paint it white, make any pattern mm -hmm. with tape or stickers that you want. I did, hey guess what I did? 
<laughs> I did Chevron pattern. Okay, sue me. I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. It's awesome. It is awesome. Yes, it is. Do you like my curtains? Yes, I do. Thank you. I love them. I love they the on, color. They were on sale, too. That's, really? that's beside the point. Do you okay. ever get anything on sale? I never get anything that's not on sale. Oh. You know, no, ever, I do not pay full price for anything. That's just the way I am. I hate spending money. The dollar store is your friend. It is my friend. Yes. <laughs> well, when you grow up poor, guess what? You, you never get out of that mentality because you always want to save money. So that's that's my whole thing for doing this is helping people do things inexpensively. So right. yes, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks. So I made the chevron pattern and now we're going to paint over it white again because what this is doing is sealing the edges so there's no bleed through, okay? then. Paint on your fun accent color, which is our green. I thought that would be a fun color. And we're going to peel off the tape. Do you want to help me here? Sure. Just start peeling off. Look how pretty that is. And the edges are absolutely sealed, so it looks like a perfect line. Almost looks like it's wallpaper because it's so perfect. Look at that. And I believe in this technique. I call it the perfect edge paint technique because look how pretty that is. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. You get the idea, right? Yeah. We're going to do that, which is great. I'm going to set these aside because I already have some made right oh. here. Now, they look a little dingy, don't they? I'm not telling you why yet. I gotta build the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing we need is an old kitchen table leg. Okay, here's what I did. I painted it pink first, and then I painted it purple, because then I'm gonna distress it with my sandpaper. Do you wanna, do you wanna sure. try to distress that a little bit? Sure. You, have you distressed anything in your home? Do you well, like distressed? I, yes, you I do. do. Okay. Yeah. So this is I not like uncommon wash. for you. Oh, I love whitewashing too. That's a great technique. Well, See, this we, is not working out for me. <laughs> Hi. If it's easier, you can use a hand, the electric sander, which might be actually easier. I like power tools. I'm so, we should have done that out here. I apologize. Well, that's you get okay. the idea, right? Okay. And I have one that's done. That's awesome. Look how pretty that is. It looks a little dingy, doesn't it? I'm not telling you why yet. <laughs> now, I'm gonna take these. I have a screw right here. Okay, and I'm actually gonna let, I'm gonna let you do this. Okay. Here's the drill. Here's the drill, Sharon. Oh, I get a You power said you like tool. power tools. You said you like it. And I'm gonna put this through the hole in the fan blade that's already there. You don't even have to drill a hole. Put it right through there. Let me, there we go. Okay, now, can you, let me fan these out. Okay, perfect, go. All right, watch your fingers. Okay, I've, I've got it, I trust you. Oh, it's reversed! Ah. Let me flip that over. Oh, so sorry, Sharon. That's okay. Let me, there we go. It just means okay, I ready? get to use it longer. There you go. Oh, see, you're so optimistic. Perfect, perfect, okay. I'm gonna spread these out just a little bit. Anybody know what we're making yet? Oh! oh. That's awesome. Oh, and we're not done yet. Now, this cute little dragonfly is gonna need a head. So I got a, this is a chair leg, like the big oversized mm -hmm. chairs. This is the leg of the chair. And I took spatulas that I got for a dollar. I just bent them. You can get butterflies too if you want. I bent them and put them there. Now, to secure it, I'm gonna screw it to the top. I'm gonna use a little bit of wood glue also. Did I just? Spring that everywhere? Sorry, I may have got it over you. Didn't you. Get I apologize. It on me. Okay, good. That's all I care about. Just you. I'm gonna use a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue. It's like the two glue system that I use because the hot glue will keep it in place while the permanent glue sets. And I love it because I want to keep going. I don't want to wait for things to dry. So I'm gonna put this in. Do you want to help me screw that in right there? Just there oh, you go. go for it. You're, Are you're you sure? The, you're the pro. Uh, <laughs> I pretend to be. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? Okay, let's put this in there right like this. Okay, perfect. Oh, I think. Okay, let's keep it right there. Okay. okay. Do you see how cute this is so far? Let me set it down because we're gonna keep going. Now, he needs to see. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue right there. And I have this on the low setting so it doesn't melt the plastic. So if you have a two temp mm -hmm. hot glue gun, use the low. I'm gonna set this one right here. Now I'm gonna give this one, can you set it right beside it? Right there, just right on that head, right there. What if he's cross-eyed? And he may be cross-eyed. I don't judge. <laughs> That's just perfectly fine. Now. Oh. Sharon. We did it. We, oh, we ain't done yet. Sharon, we ain't done. Okay. 
Did you actually think I was going to go through a show without using deco mesh? Of course not. I mean, come on. Really? I thought, what a great way to hide the spatula tops then with a deco mesh pretty bow for a cute little dragonfly. And let me just, I put a screw right in the top, and I'm just going to secure this right to that screw. In fact, could you hold this, Yes, Sharon? sir. Sharon, just hold that right there. And I'm going to secure this right to the top. Now, when I was little, we had, well, little, I say middle school, we used to, we had girls in our school that were called bowheads. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so this dragonfly's a bowhead. And now just because this dragonfly might be a girl, does not mean she can't be fancy. Oh. This is a duct tape bow tie that I've made. Again, it's the low temp, and we're gonna put the cute little bow tie right oh, there. Oh, that's awesome. Now would you look at our outdoor decor dragonfly. Awesome. Is that not cute? Yes, it's cute. Okay, now, I'm super excited to tell you the mysterious twist of this project. I've been hinting at it. Guess what? This is all painted with glow-in-the-dark paint. <gasps> oh. So the sun is going to charge it all day long, and when the lights come down and you're on your back deck, you're going to have a glowing dragonfly Yay. displayed. How cute! How cute is that? That's adorable. And again, it's all reusing things you might have in your home and repurposing it and then using it and then your neighbors are gonna be jealous of you. Yes. Yeah, how cute is that? It's and all, you are taking this adorable. home, Sharon. This yeah. is yours. Yeah! All this right, is yours. thank you. Will you, put it, will you put it on the back deck? I will, and You'll I may hang. make another one to go with it. You need, oh, would you please then send yes. me a picture? Yeah. She needs a husband, so make, so make one. Okay. okay, perfect. Okay, without yes. a bow. Without a bow, okay. yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Give Sharon a huge round of applause. Thank you. Isn't that fun? Stay right here, stay right okay. here. Okay. I want to thank you all so much for watching today. I want to thank my fantastic studio audience, who I think is the best studio audience in the entire world. You are. You're great. They're so good. Yes, they are. And all my special helpers, I so appreciate it. Make sure you go to FYIGuy.com daily because we're updating things. There's great tips, tricks, and trends you don't want to miss. So keep checking back. Find us on Facebook as well. We love to interact and get your feedback. Till next time, I'm Jeremy Rave, your FYI guy. Keeping it fast. Easy and fun. Bye, guys. Isn't that fun? Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you.